Hey guys, I'm a uh, shit. Hello and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is episode 18 of my Minecraft Let's Play, and we're picking up in the cave area where we left off at the end of last episode. Now, you guys will have to obviously wait for this video, but uh, just to kind of probably annoy you guys by telling you this, you'd be like, why you no upload then? This episode is actually being recorded directly after the last one. Um, I basically just renamed the uh, the uncompressed video files. I haven't even converted the old one or anything. I literally just renamed to keep track and started recording. Why? Because I was actually having quite a bit of fun down here, and as such, I wanted to continue my fun while it was here instead of picking up the next time being like what was I doing I'm so confused because by now you should be able to tell how bad my memory is you ask me in a month I'll be able to tell you everything about what I did down here you ask me tomorrow I'm not gonna remember a thing not a single thing that's terrible I know you know, if I hadn't just done that, I never would have found that. Oh. I should stop placing torches on obsidian. When my method of making obsidian is pouring water on it. Oh. There was no lava there. It's kind of impressive. Uh, I might not feel... Uh, I, Wait, that's not... I know what I was trying to say, and I... Whoa. Wow. I, I don't know if I sound any different to you guys, but... I'm actually extremely thirsty at the moment. And you're probably thinking, well, whenever you stopped episodes, why didn't you go get a drink? And I'm going to tell you guys, that was a very good question. But it's too late now, I've started recording. And... There's a lot of noises of stuff around me. What the hell with flint? I don't need the flint. I don't really have any major use for the flint. I don't really have any major use for uh, lapis either, but... Or lapis. Because I believe it's supposed to be pronounced lapis lazuli. Which... Yeah. I don't really have any use for it. Holy cave system, Batman. I'm going to build like a shanty or something outside of this once I'm done with it. Because there's going to be a lot of materials left down inside here. And it's probably still going to have plenty of exploration content. But I'm lost. All I want to do is get back to exactly where I just was. But I am... Stupid zombie. You know, I say stupid zombie, but I'm probably going to end up falling into lava somehow myself. Although, to be honest, falling into lava is kind of hard. Hey! I heard that. Oh, shit. Anything else up there? Or are you just going to lead me to gathering like I was trying to do? I managed to go the entire last episode without dying, which makes me greatly happy. And I'm fine with dying this episode, so long as I have a way to get back to my stuff. And I don't consider this safe at all, so... Water mining. Um... Got a good bit of redstone. Quite happy now. And I feel as though I can leave here. However, I'm pretty sure the uh, zombies and skeletons and creepers all disagree. They don't want me to leave. But I will find a way out. And I'm not just going to dig up and tired pillar my way out. Partly because I've seen enough lava down in here that it's actually kind of terrifying. But uh, I am going to... I, I might actually go find that ravine and like spiral staircase my way up and then build something at the top. Because 
I, I don't feel as though I'm done exploring this cave. I want to keep exploring it. But, uh, I want to get these diamonds somewhere safe, somewhere I can find. Being down here inside of the very bottom of a cave is not a safe place to be walking around with all five diamonds to my name. So, we're going to try to get out of this situation. I'm going to find that ravine. Which... That ravine... I remember seeing down to almost lava level. i got to figure out what I'm going to get out of my inventory. Hmm... Dirt. Get rid of the dirt. I don't know how I'm going to get back up that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Go water. Resolve all my problems. Or not. I feel extremely unsafe at the moment. What are you doing, you dumbass? You're... Hi there. Walking around with five diamonds. The only diamonds you have. Don't go losing them. That's what I'm thinking. Right this very second. And yet here I am. Just mindlessly whittling away at... Iron. Still exploring the darkness. Not even trying to properly escape. But, uh... What's, what's not if a little excitement? There was plenty of it last episode, especially with the coming, like... Within a fraction of death. Hmm. I cobblestone this whole thing. That would make my day. My day has been made. Okay, here's the ravine, apparently. Oh, shit. Staircase Ahoy? I was terrified of breaking that. Especially considering there was lava there just not too long ago. Oh, wow, this cave is extensive. Or ravine, in this case. Is that light? If I'm lucky, that may be an exit. If I'm lucky, I might be able to find a way to get out there. And I don't mean just get out there, but I mean get out over there. Hi, Mr. Spider. How are you doing? I'm sure there's probably more diamonds down here in the bottom of this ravine, which is also part of the reason why I'm not just leaving. Well, I'm leaving, but I'm making it so I can find my way back here. So I'm sure there is way more stuff to be had. It's good in the future, and I haven't been paying attention to what I've been doing in terms of recording, but uh, I have a general idea, and that's all that matters. Where the hell am I going? That's the great question. I'm being very careful not to dig directly above my head. I don't even have enough room for cobble anymore. Oh, fuck, creeper. Shit. Um. Fuck me. Ooh. Where'd he go? Did I lose him? Oh, yes, he hit the lava and he's on fire. I, sh I thought about putting safety rails so I wouldn't manage to accomplish that same thing myself, but... Apparently, blatant disregard for personal safety. What is that? That's a torch. I've been here before. Kind of. Oh, shit. Is that redstone? Oh, no, I think that's gravel, I see. That does go really deep. You know, I was looking for a way out, but... Turns out the light was my own. 
Now, if I just got louder there for a second, it's because I actually moved up a bit in my chair to see where I was looking. Because I was sitting at an angle where my screen was actually a little bit darker, so... Uh, I see more light, in a good way. I see more light. Is this possibly the dark cave near the entrance that I didn't explore? Oh. This is bad. Please take me to the surface. You're going up. No. No, you take me to a dead end. Stupid, stingy cave. I didn't get rid of that... Okay, I didn't get rid of that too coal, and I feel bad just leaving it as too coal, so... We're gonna make that not too coal. Trying to cut down on the mining on the episode. This episode is actually more of the... Escaping with my items. Which is more or less true. It's all I'm really doing is trying to escape with my items. Or apparently risk dying by digging in a dark corner of the cave. Now, alright, that was a dead end. Hopefully it's not a dead end. I see more light. I see cobble. Cobble? Oh, I just made a circle. Yay. Um, I will find my way out of here yet. I swear it. I swear it or I will swear at it. But that's a good enough plan, I would say. I hear things walking on dirt. It might have been me, but I swear it was when I was stopped. Now, zombies, what is your insistence? Spider, I'll fight you. Whoa. Lava level. Why have I not left yet? What is wrong with me? Walking around, five diamonds, running out of wood, I'm out of torches, again. Although I must say, where this iron is, is probably as good as place as any to... Oh. Okay, place it there, place it there, ditch that. Whoa. Now, I filled in pretty much all of my lava, so I probably haven't been down there. Then again, I can use that as an indicator. I I'm not going to say should I come back. I'm going to leave the leave it as an indicator when I come back. Because, oh yes, I will come back. Goodbye, zombie. Uh, I'm going completely overboard on torches, but nobody's going to blame me, right? Does this just link into the cave that leads into a dead end? No, I think this links... What? Wait, what's going on here? I've been here before. I've definitely been here before. Yeah. Okay. I might just go to extreme measures, but I'm going to try to avoid them. Instead, I'm going to see if I can't find that gravel. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, see if I can't find my way out. I'm very confused, though, at the moment. Because now I've really made it a roundabout. I may be near the beginning, although I keep on thinking that, and I swear I don't get any closer. See, what is this? I'm pretty sure this is actually where I just came through. 
Oh, what do you know? I'm back here. I'm now walking in circles. Circles that lead me to iron. I'm okay with this. What am I at? I've got uh, about a stack and a half of iron. I'm going to light that up. Retrace my steps in hopefully a way that leads me back to where I'm trying to go. Which is out. Which is not that way. I'm going to tell you, by the time I finish doing this, I'm going to be an expert on navigating this cave system. It, it's just bound to happen with how many times I've now walked through the same area. But the problem is, is I'm not seeing any indicators that I remember. All I'm seeing is more and more darkness. <clears throat> and an Enderman. Um... What the hell? How am I so turned around and lost inside of one tiny cave? That's right, tiny. That is the term I used for this cave system. I don't even think I'm going to be able to find the exit by the end of this episode, even. Mostly because I keep on getting distracted by things like iron. But uh, I will find the way out. You know, with all this dirt floating around above my head, I'm tempted to just dig up. I didn't want to, but I'm going to get to the top of this. I'm going to take those two chests from the spider spawner. I'm going to place them on the ground and put my diamonds and redstone in them. Because I'll be damned if I lose those. What is this? I think I might have just made a dead end at the beginning of this cave. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I just want... No. I will not accept it. More coal. I'm going to leave you there. Who knows, maybe I will upload this right after. If it says it's uploaded on the same day as the other one, I did. If it doesn't, I didn't. But I'm going to look at it this way. If I don't, it actually means I don't really have to record the next day. Why did you get placed? I hear things walking on dirt. I hear pigs. I see a moon. He died pretty quick. That was strange. Okay, I can't really do anything over here till all of these things leave me alone. And I don't... I even further don't want to die at this point. Where am I? That way should be my house. Because I want to use these enchanting levels. Because if I'm going to make that pick... Which is going to lead to end up making an enchanting table. I'll be damned if I lose that stuff. And I kind of feel like tarred pillaring this. That's right, tarred pillar. Now I know how to get back down there. That should be easily identifiable from most locations. How far from my house am I actually? Because... This doesn't seem all that far, to be honest. I think this actually just led me backwards, because... Well, I couldn't have been here. There's still cactuses. Oh shit. You know, I said I was going to put that stuff in a chest. And here I am, wandering the countryside without putting that stuff in a chest. But I'm in the belief I can make it home. And I have explored this, which is a good sign.
I see my house. We're on the final stretch. We're gonna make it home. Or die reasonably close to it to the point where I can find anything I lose. Yes, I'm not gonna say or die trying, because trying isn't the issue here. Trying to make it home. Well, I'm not overly concerned so long as I can pick up the five diamonds and the, like, two stacks of redstone. Those are the only things that matter to me. I'm gonna make it. And it's gonna hit daytime here most directly. Which means that the next thing I do... Uh, I'm going to make the next thing very soon. Like, I wonder how many... How much space I have here? Eh, not enough. Hmm. Well, looks like some of these windows are end up getting blocked. Because right here is where I'm going to put the, uh... The enchanting table. Not entirely sure why I picked up the, uh... The water... And I should just uh, cook what I got for sure. Get everything cooking. I don't even need that much for the uh, stuff. Yep, stuff I picked up. Um, just gonna. Empty my inventory of all the unnecessaries. Actually, I'm going to leave that on my bar for the moment. Um, pity I didn't find the, uh, find an abandoned mine shaft, not the abandoned mine shaft. Although, finding it would have been nice, but it didn't happen. Do you need to put that mossy cobble where it belongs? This was the food chest? Yes. Oops. Okay. Put that in there. Wow, I really burnt through a bunch of stuff, didn't I? I don't have any reeds, so I guess my maximum chain I'm going to be able to do is going to be like five. So I'm likely to make somebody cringe because I'm going to put the highest base enchant from a no bookshelf table that I can. And I now have redstone. I'm happy. Somebody else probably isn't. Those people are just jealous that I have redstone. Oh, I guess I can't make an enchanting table without reeds to make paper to make books. Of course, so I only need three reeds. We are going to take Mr. Diamond Pickaxe and store him in this here chest. We're going to store the diamonds in there as well. You know, I could just dig up that obsidian, but I don't want to do that. I do need to find reeds. And I'm sure somebody's going, there were some over there that you should have picked up. And I'm sitting here going, yes, this is probably true. But I didn't. It's just like I was going to get lava. But I didn't. Because I realized I needed a book. I see reads. Although I have a feeling... Yeah, there's only two reads there. I haven't been close enough for it to grow. I know that's why there's only two. But where there's some reeds, there's a good chance of finding more. Oh. Yeah, it is only two reeds. Maybe it's three reeds, and one of them's obstructed by tall grass. If it's three reeds, I'm not even going to make a reed farm. I'm just going to straight up make a book. I will find more reeds when I need them. The compass says I'm still not even quite at spawn. Just thought I'd look at that. I now have three reeds. 
I'm going to sprint out of excitement. And then hit a corner multiple times and get stopped. I don't really have a place to make uh, a minecart track to yet, so I'm not really worried. I might need to make one of the uh, swamp, because it is way out of the way. But, I don't need that at the moment. Although I bet some, uh... Right. I bet some vines would look real good hanging off of that. But, uh... We're not there yet. You know, I was gonna go get lava, and I kinda got sidetracked. I'm... I'm just a pro at this game, aren't I? Whew. It's looking like I may have gone two episodes without dying. Maybe I'll just have to go jump in that lava afterwards. You know... Oh, I didn't bring it with me. So never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if there's more lava underneath that obsidian. Because if there isn't, I'm just going to mine that. Because it's... Becoming an eyesore. Where am I going to make the obsidian that's not going to risk burning everything down? That... You know, I feel like I'm missing something here. Like the fact that I need four obsidian. I'm just a pro at this game. Not knowing how to make a workbench. Not making paper properly. Made the book properly. And I have a book. I've got my pickaxe. I've got lava, water... Still got a little bit of daytime left. Guess I'm gonna go get this obsidian because it's here. That's not gonna work quite the way I wanted. That's not gonna work quite the way I wanted. For a little while, I think it was in pre release 1.9. Obsidian mined super stupid fast. And I miss it. I miss it greatly. But, oh well. Oh, I think I need five obsidian. Nope, four. Just ran the pattern through my head. Uh, go back. This episode's probably going to breach 30 minutes. Hopefully not by long. Or hopefully I spent more time screwing around with files and this and that in between episodes that my numbers are a little bit off and I'm actually going to end early because early is better than late. So, let me just run over here very quickly. Grab the diamonds. Whoops. And enchanting table. And I suppose I can dispose of some of these buckets. Quite a collection of buckets I've obtained. Oh, whoops. Kind of hard to believe that I got all of those from dungeons. We're going to take Mr. Enchanting Table. You think here. Right here? Yes. Because then it will be bookshelves, bookshelves, bookshelves. I don't know, I'm probably going to put the entrance over here. But, uh. Let's see how high of an enchant we can get without bookshelves. So far, I've seen four. And there's five. So we're going with five, and somebody's going to hate me. Efficiency. I like it. We're going to enchant this sword with a four. Oh yeah. We now set people on fire with that sword that I'm not using until I break the other one. But, uh... I'd say this has been a good episode. 
Well, I'm going to call this good. This is now the episode... Episode, wow. I'm going to call this the end of episode 18. I will see you again in the next episode.